Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain you about ascent of sap, root pressure, gutation and exudation or bleeding. Water movement of a plant which is called ascent of sap. The water has to be moved up a stream against gravity. The path of water movement is through the vascular bundles more specifically with the xylem. Experiment Place a plant twig bearing white flowers or balsam plant in a colored water, particularly eosin solution and examine the cut end of the twig after a few hours we will notice the region through which the colored water moved. This experiment very easily demonstrates that the pathway of the water movement is through the xylem. Remember, ascent of sap explained by the experiment by using balsam plant and eosin solution. Let's see the diagrammatic representation of ascent of sap. Here, they placed balsam plant twig in the beaker which contains eosin solution. After some time, so this colored solution transported from down to up which is called ascent of sap. Due to this, xylem vessels became colored and leaves, veins also became red colored. Due to this experiment, they explained water moves from root to shoot in upward direction through xylem. Transpiration pull. Transpiration pull is a negative hydrostatic pressure because it is pulling pressure develop in aerial parts due to evaporation of water or loss of water. Due to this pressure, rate of ascent of sap in plants is fairly high, 15 meters per hour. Water is mainly pulled through this transpiration pool and this is referred to as the cohesive tension transpirational pull model of water transport. This was explained by Dixon and Jolly. The transpiration driven ascent of xylem sap depends mainly on the following physical properties of water. Very first one, cohesion. This is caused because of mutual attraction between water molecules. Addition. This is caused by attraction of water molecules to polar surface of xylem vessel, which means surface of xylem trachery elements. Surface tension, water molecules are attached to each other in the liquid phase more than to water in gas phase. These properties give water high tensile strength and ability to resist a pulling force and high capillary, the ability to rise in thin tubes. In plants, capillarity is aided by the small diameter of the trachery elements the tracheids and vessel elements. Mechanism As water evaporates through the stomata, since the thin film of water over the cells is continuous, it results in pulling of water molecule by molecule into the leaf from the xylem. Also because of lower concentration of water vapor in the atmosphere as compared to the substomatal cavity and intercellular spaces, water diffuses into the surrounding air. This creates pull which is 
negative hydrostatic pressure measurements reveal that the forces generated by transpiration can create pressure sufficient to lift a xylem sized column of water over 130 meters high let's check the diagrammatic representation of water movement in the leaf evaporation from the leaf setup a pressure gradient between the outside air and the air spaces or intercellular spaces of the leaf the gradient is transmitted into the photosynthetic cells and on the water filled xylem in the leaf vein let's check this diagram carefully for your better understanding root pressure as various ions from the soil are actively transported into the vascular tissues of the roots water follows its potential gradient and increases the pressure inside the xylem this pressure is called root pressure experimental demonstration of root pressure choose a small soft stemmed plant on a day when there is a plenty of atmospheric moisture and cut the stem horizontally near the base with a sharp blade early in the morning soon we will see drops of solution ooze out from the cutted stem this comes out due to the positive pressure which is called root pressure by fixing rubber tube to the cut stem as a sleeve we can collect and measure the rate of exudation and also determine the composition of exudates condition that favor of root pressure the very first one low rate of evaporation and transpiration the second one high atmospheric humidity the third one root pressure exist from evening till early morning in some plants applications of root pressure root pressure responsible for pushing up of water to small heights in the stem root pressure responsible for guttation and exudation root pressure provides a modest push in the overall process of water transport the greatest contribution of root pressure may be to establish the continuous chains of water molecules in the xylem which often break under the enormous tension created by transpiration some facts about root pressure root pressure do not play major role in water movement of tall trees root pressure does not account for majority of water transport most plants meet their need of water by transpirational pull manometer is the instrument which is used to measure root pressure guttation loss of xylem sap in the form of liquid drops from the uninjured margins of leaves is called guttation some facts about guttation guttation takes place through hydathodes their special type of stomata called water stomata hydathodes remain open throughout day and night guttation drops contain dissolved organic and inorganic substances guttation is driven by root pressure which is seen in late night or early morning loose parenchymal tissue lie beneath hydathodes is known as epithelium tissue examples grasses tomato balsam garden nasturtium colocasia 
and some plants of cucurbitaceae family. Exudation or bleeding. The term exudation derived from a Latin word exude means to ooze. Exudation is emission of liquid from injured parts of plant. A root pressure is responsible for exudation. Applications of exudation. Very first one, sugar is obtained from sugar maple. Opium latex is obtained from pepper. Rubber or latex is obtained from rubber tree. Toddy is obtained from toddy palm. Cariota urines. In toddy palm, highest bleeding is reported that to 50 liter per day. These are the applications of exudation or bleeding.